kubwa zaidi ya kuweza kujishiria shilingi 3000 kwa isani ya Itel P40 siku ya leo hakuna simu ambayo inaweza kukuokolea kwa Uh, kudumu kwa muda mrefu baada ya kucharge katika matumizi yake ama battery yake jamani inakukalisha muda mrefu licha kwamba unaweza kuitumia simu hii siku nzima inakuja na storage kubwa zaidi that is 64 RAM na 7 GB ROM inayokupatia utendakazi rahisi na simu hii unaipata kwa shilingi 1800 okay na zawadi inatolewa kwa kila simu inayonunuliwa inapatikana katika maduka yote ya rejareja ya simu yaliyoidhinishwa nchini Kenya okay so right now tuniangalie nani atakuwa mshindi wangu wa kipindi hiki Uh, kwa sababu ya muda itakuwa ni uh, wote ni niangalie nani nitamsoma tu haraka upesi ndi nda ukiwa makweli unasema masawe um ndivyo baba wewe ndinda anyway ndinda mshindi wangu sasa hivi nitakuwa na kuchukua nambari yako ya simu sms ime refresh however i love your message uh, nitakwenda kuchukua nambari yako ni kupatia fursa hii ya kuweza kujishindia shilingi 3000 kwa hisani ya itel um p40 hii leo okay kama nilivyosema hapo awali leo katika ili kuwaje inakuja mapema yes na mgeni wangu siku leo ni jamaa ambaye amekuwa katika mitandao ya kijamii amekuwa katika vyombo vya habari uh, swala kuu ikiwa ni alikuwa ni mhusika mkuu katika mauaji yake Jeff Mwathi na tunamjua kama DJ Fatso karibu sana kwenye kipindi asante DJ Fatso yes majina yako kamili ni nani kwanza uh, mimi naitwa Lawrence mm-hmm. Jigo na wagura. Okay? Yeah. Mhm. Mm. Kazi unaofanya ni DJ. Ah, uh, nilikuwa nafanya DJ. Mhm. Uh, ah, then nikaacha nikaingia kwa uh, uimbaji wa mogidi mm-hmm. as in wa muziki kama yes. yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Kwa hivyo wewe mwana muziki you know you know DJ. Once a DJ always a DJ. Okay. But, uh, Once a doctor always a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But anaimba. Okay. Yeah. DJ Fatso. Yes. Nimekuita leo kwa mm. sababu kumekuwa na story fulani mm. uh, kwamba uliweza kuhusika katika mauaji ya Jeff Mwathi mm. kijana wa miaka 23 mm. na maswali mengi yameweza kuibuka mm. watu wengi wakisema kwamba tunataka kujua kweli mm. uliendaje kulifanyika aje mm. ya na wewe ni mshukiwa mkuu katika mm. mauaji haya ya Jeff Mwathi mm. swali moja tu <coughs> ilikuwaje uh kwanza ni semele. Uh, watu huenda ikuwe wananishuku. Lakini mimi mwenyewe sijishuku manake mimi siiziua na sikuhusika kwa kumuua Jeff manake Jeff alikuwa rafiki yangu na sioni sababu yangu mimi ningemuua kwa nini. Na ni kijana mdogo pia mwenye hana ubaya na mtu yeyote. So uh, naanza toka menye uh, siku ilifika ilikuwa Uli, kwanza kwanza kabisa ulimjua vipi Jeff mlijua naje Jeff hapo mwaka wa 2020 2021 uh, nilikuwa one year in the industry ya kuimba mugivi sasa uh-huh. nilikuwa time nime peak zaidi uh, alikuwa na shop pale mahali panaitwa Jifiche Grill uh-huh. uh, kuna kuna shop inakwanga hapo kando ya viatu so mimi napenda napenda mambo na fashion sana. So nilienda hapo kununuanga viatu na nilikuwa napata msichana alikuwa anaitwa Faith Mutano. Mm-hmm. Faith yeye ndio mwenye alikuwa amepewa kazi na Jeff. Mimi nikinunua viatu hapo siku jo hapo ni kwa Jeff. Mimi nilijua naenda kununua kwa Faith juu kila wakati mimi nampata Faith. Mm-hmm. Hapo nimenunua viatu mingi viatu zime zidi hata la uh, teme karibu laki moja manake mi nilikuwa nanunua kila wakati. Sasa siku moja uh, nikashtukia kijana amekuja. Jeff alikuwa kijana mdogo sana. Mm. Uh, amekuja ameingia amenipata hapo eh, nikibagain ama nikichukua kiatu akafurahi sana. Kanambi DJ Fatso, e, nimefurahi sana unani promoting na ambi angwa. Sasa unaona ameleta angle nyingine unani promoting. I'm like aje na sikujui. So akaniambia hapa eh, ni kwangu mimi ndio nakuwa nimecharafei kazi nasikia so hapo ndo penye mimi nikajilia hivyo haya kando na hivyo siku acha kuwa customer pale hiyo siku yenye ya kwanza tu yangu kwenda hapo alipiga picha na mimi kuna picha ilikuwa ina circulate nikiwa nimeshika kiatu na yeye akapiga picha na mimi ni kawaida ya mashabiki kupiga picha na sisi 
Haya so mimi sikukata akapiga picha na mimi na hapo hapo akaniambia uh, by the way Samido ni yanko yangu uh, Samido ni mwanamuziki mwenye tunaimba naye anajulikana yes so uh, akaniambia Samido ni yanko yangu na mnaimbanga na yeye mwingine unasikia mm -hmm. uh, mimi nika nikatupilia mbali juu okay sikuwa na tutaongea nini nyingine tushaongea amepiga picha ameridhika ni hivyo basi okay. haya kilichofuata i think alinipata tena mara nyingine the same ilikuwa trend yake akiniona uh, hata ikoni wewe masawe uko uko na shop ama uko na duka lako na mimi nikuje kununua niko na jina utapiga picha na mimi kila wakati ili upost uonyeshane shop yako inakuja watu wenye pia wenye ili uweze kuvutia customers wengine anipata mm -hmm. so uh, when alinipata siku nyingine akaniambia uh, by the way fatso ukiwa itaka kuweka shop yote ya, vi, ya viatu hii ni mimi nime design Nisikia? Mhm. Mm Ini mimi nimedesign unaweza nipea kazi na unaona venye kako simple and I really loved it. Juu ilikuwa inakaa vizuri. Haya, tukanyamaziana na Jeff. In fact, I didn't have Jeff's number. Sikuwa na namba ya Jeff. Namba ya Jeff nimehitaji sasa 20 tuko 2023 ya. Nimehitaji 2023 January. Why? Why? Monake, uh, kuna kitu umesikia aliniambia ukiwa itaka kuweka shop Ah uh, utaniambia nikutengeneze. Mm -hmm. Mimi mimi naweza unda je mimi nilijitengeneze hapa. Sasa uh, Mungu amenibariki amenipea pesa kidogo. Nimeona naweza anzisha kabiashara ili at least niko na DJ school pale Ivo uh, Zita University. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to move the DJ school because it was not doing well hapo nje Zita University. Hapo panahitaji nikao na panahitaji juu wanafunzi wanapita wengi sana panahitaji niweke kitu ina move niweke viatu na niweke maybe dresses za wasichana mm -hmm. nayo kuna mahali nilikuwa nishapata hall kubwa sana hapo mahali panaitoka Marquis Bypass karibu na Green Spot Gardens nimepata hall hata saa hizi iko ni yangu uh, it's a very big hall so i wanted to move the dj school itoke pale zita university nipeleke pale hivyo ikue music school sasa office yangu ikue hapo na niweke studio na hivyo niendelee sasa the only person i had in mind uh, allow me say this masawe if you've never had an idea of owning a joint or else a shop si expect utakuwa join interior designers wengi so akili yangu ilifikiria nani Jeff tu manake hata ile shop yenye nataka kuweka pale ya nguo ya, ya nguo na viatu nikakumbuka yeye yeah, alikuwa amenembea naweza fanya hivyo okay. so i decided that i'll engage him so whom did i ask for the number ya Jeff nilipigia faith motal yule tu mwenye alikuwa amepewa kazi na Jeff a uh, kitambo kumbe kulienda hivi na hivi a uh, Jeff shop yake kaanguka kumbuka ile wakati 2020s ni wakati covid imeingia 2021 so alifunga shop so after amefunga sasa feed ndo mwenye ni feed aliendelea na kuuza viatu in fact Jeff after amefunga biashara zake uh, nilikuja kujua baadaye sasa baada hizi vitu zote alifunga akaambiwa arudi shule so even about this thing yenye imekuwa ikiendelea uh, sasa anaitanishwa na the interior designer okay so mlipatana mkaanza kuwa marafiki alikufanyia kazi kipindi hichi hakunifanyia kazi okay hakunifanyia kazi so hakuwahi kukutengenezea duka lako no okay so baada hapo urafiki wenu ulikuwa wa karibu ah uh, hapana okay au kwa urafiki wa karibu urafiki wetu ulikuwa urafiki wa tukipatana wapi nikienda kununua viatu kwake toka 2021 akina show you kutoka 2021 toka ninunue viatu kwake toka afunge sababu ilifika time akafunga mm -hmm. the person who been selling shoes to me is fake mutani okay so jeff alikuja je kwa nyumba yako ah sasa hapo ndo tunaelekea hapo ndo tunaelekea hatuko okay. tunaongea sasa january mm -hmm. ndio hii january imefika mimi nataka kuweka shop nimeitisha fake number ya jeff amenipatia namba ya jeff Nimeongea na Jeff nimemwambia kuna shop na ngoja zitengeneze zina renovatiwa uh, acha zikimalizika nitakwambia ndio kuje nitengeneze. Unanisikia? Haya, but unaona already anajua anajua ile DJ school yangu ya ya Ruiru hiyo anajua. Mm. Haya, so what happened is ikafika siku it was on Tuesday. Mimi nimeenda kuangalia mahali niko na ka, na shares kidogo za Wines and Spirit Ruiru. Uh, kwenda kuangalia na post kuna ka, kuna kafani meme kalikuwa kana kana trend kakijana 
a very small boy analia then anacheka maybe umepiti yeah. umepata na nayo mm. nikaiweka kwa status yangu after nimeweka kwa status sasa hiyo ni kitu saa nane na dakika maybe that hivyo niko hapo rilu hapo penye nimekuambia kwa hiyo lika lika sto nimeenda kuangalia penye nitamsha kazi manake kuja kuwa na kazi haileti pesa mm-hmm. sasa niko hapo ni, niko na jamaa anaitwa Kenodhi Kenodhi is a manager to a certain artist tunaimba na anaitwa Kamoko so after i posted that thing uh, i am not the one who engaged Jeff si mimi niliongelesha Jeff Jeff alichekea nini? Alicheka kwa ile status yangu venye tunaekanga status. So, he is the one mwenye li, alicheka. So mimi hata simi mwenye nilimtafuta. So after amecheka kwa ile status yangu, ikaniring kwa akili yangu, by the way jana nililipa ile nyumba juu imemalizika, ile nyumba pale ipo Green Spot, ile yenye nakwambia niko nipeleke music school. Nililipa, I think na is engage huyo kijana, Joel aliniambia. So kwa text after nilichukua namba yake kwa figmo tano, there is a text yenye inaonyeshana ati nilihama Roisambu sikuizi niko Kimbo so ukitaka tupatane please niambie mapema ili ni ili nikuje ili niweze kutoka Kimbo nikuje mm-hmm. haya sasa nikajua mimi niko Rilu si ndio hapa ni Kimbo Jeff ako Kimbo Rilu na Kimbo ni karibu sana so venye alicheka kwa status yangu nikakumbuka nililipa shop jana nikamwambia hata si kucheka nilimuulize eh hey bro uko ili akuje sasa tuzungumze sasa biashara akakuja after amekuja alikuja in like call it 30 30 minutes hivyo ah uh, mimi na mimi niko hapa naongea na kuja huyu jamaa ni event organizer wa outdoor event huyu Kenodhi mwenye nimekwambia sasa tuko na yeye hapa uh, sababu nataka hiyo hiyo wine spirit kwa mahali rooftop nataka aniamshie nataka nipate strategies za venye tutainua so Jeff akafika akatupata mimi na Kenodhi alitupata mimi tunakunya that is the first club nataka nikupeleke through kwa hizo klabu nne zenye inasemekana anga. Jeff amekuja amenipata na kunywa maji na na kunywa Red Bull. Kenodhi na kunywa maji na na kunywa soda. Jeff akakuja akaitisha soda. After amefika hivi, unaona sasa bado naendelea na conversation na nani? Na Kenodhi. Jusi jamaliza so siezi engage kwa hii ingine kwanza na huyu nimemuita akuje ndio tuongelee biashara yangu ya hapa. Tukia tu hapo. Nikapigiwa simu na jamaa anaitwa Adam Mopao other more power is one of the uh, maybe appear to church like yeah uh, akaniambia with the fact so tunataka kukubook show uh, hapa Shaki Gardens ya Ruiru eh uh, church linakuja kuleta show hapo nikamwambia anataka tuongee bei sasa na everything kwa simu kaambia haina haja tufanye hivyo acha nikuje juu mimi niko Ruiru pia so tukatoka na hawa nikaambia by the way Junona natafuta pesa za kuweka hii hizi shop zote lazima kwanza nikimbie nichukue hii pesa unanipata masaa mm. so nika nikama ikabidi nitamatishe hii mkutano yangu na Kenodia na mkutano yangu na Jeff twende kwa gari i drive them Kenodia in front Jeff behind unanipata mm-hmm. tukaenda Ashaki Gardens so one nataka uelewe hakuna kitu yote yenye tumeongea na Jeff so far toka afike mimi nilikuwa naongea na Kenodia mm-hmm. after amefika dakika kama kumi, mm-hmm. hata maji nakumbuka ilibidi tumebeba na Red Bull yangu hata sikumaliza mm-hmm. ilibidi nimebeba sababu nimeitwa na ninataka pesa sana I want to make that money juu kuna biashara nafaa nifungue na najuzi tanikula pesa mingi ndio sisi tukaenda Shaki Gardens really Mkambia Jeff after tumefika hapo we Jeff juna ile shop ya Zitek ile DJ school omba karatasi na pen kwa waitress kaa pale kwa pila andikanga ni nini zenye zinahitajika materials zenye zinahitajika ndo tununue nini tununue tujenge hiyo shop juu hiyo anaijua ile ingine haijui ile ya green spot hiyo ndo yenye nilifaa kumpeleka ione sasa haya akabaki hapo then nikaambia Kenodia this guy mwenye nimekwambia ni event organizer na ni manager wa Kamoko you know acting as my manager ju manager wangu hayuko karibu ili twende tuweze kuitisha pesa mingi wapi hapa So yeye yeah, tuli proceed naye kwa mkutano tukaacha Jeff wapi hapo. Ah uh, nika strike hiyo deal na nikapewa hiyo show. Uh, na dakika kama 45 ama 1 au ikienda sana hapo. Saizi kama tunavizungumza nataka uone ni kitu 4 4:30 hapo hivyo. Haya, nilikuwa natoka nilikuwa nafaa kupatana na mtu anaitwa Waida Kawaje. He is a Mogidi artist. Tunaimba na yeye. I was supposed to meet him because we had a show in Narok me and him a joint show na ni sisi tunajilipishia 
So, we had to meet and do a promo for the show ndiyo tuweze kupata traction ya watu. Where were we supposed to meet? Alifa ni part of Blitz Bistro. But sasa ni meito wa shaki ni enda ni kastrike deal na ni kaenda. So, yeye ya kanembia kwa Tatu City. We are talking about Izo Saizi Zadika Road sasa. So, akanembia tupatane juni kwa Tatu City. Tupatane mahali pala ito Destiny Gardens. The Destiny Gardens ni mahali kwa watoto kwa kucheza. But kuna klabu pia. Hapo ndiyo klabu ya Tatu inakuja. Unayona juni ya kuwanza enye niliko Blitz Bistro. Ashaki. Then kuna Destiny Gardens. Kwa hizi zote nataka uwelewe vizuri. Hakuna mahali popote penye nimekunywa. Mimi si mimi mimi kunywa pombe. But si kunywa pombe mchana. Pombe ni ni kitu yenyewe naweza sema unakunywa ku socialize na watu. Na kazi zetu mingi tumezipatanga kwa pombe. Maana yake si kuingia walevi mara mingi. Wanipata. So, this is the third joint yenye tumeenda Destiny Gardens. Hakuna mtu amekunywa pombe. Hata hapo all of them can attest niliitisha maji ashaki tukifika nilikunya maji tukienda destiny gardens nikaitisha maji jeff akaitisha soda kenodi akaitisha maji wanisikia tuka record ile promo yetu and then tuka proceed sasa hii masaa nataka uone masaa isha songa masawe kweli kweli na bado mimi na jeff hatujaongea kitu yoyote yenye ilituleta pamoja password mm-hmm. but asha andika zile vitu tukaenda tukafika mahali pale Toro Isambu hapo naenda kuchukua delivery nilikuwa nachukua but Jeff was insisting yule msichana mwenye ali to connect na yeye mwenye alifanya ni mjue Jeff huyu faith mutano sasa when is care mm-hmm. alikuwa ana insist anataka sana faith kuwe na sisi eh, ili kae ni shukrani kae ikae haha piti chini na ni ali mconnect kwa hii kazi na mimi. Mm. Wanipata. Mm. So he kept on calling Faith and I was like, okay, just call her, it's okay. Acha akuje. Unaona mimi sina sina ubaya na yeye kuita mutanu. And then all along what I want to know is that Jeff was recording a uh, voice notes, but before he started doing that, hakuanza na video, alianza na voice notes. Ah, uh, akaniambia nitakuwa na update mama ya penye tunaenda and I was like it's okay so nasikia ameambia mom hey mom sasa hivi tumetoka na fatso hapa hivi ashaki gardens kuna show alikuwa anapewa hapo hivi ya chachil sasa tumekuwa na master wengine hapo wa Mogidi he was a very happy guy a happy soul mm-hmm. unaniona uh, so i'm going to tell you this sisi taka watu wafikirie ndio ile siku ikaja ikapelekea kifo chake ndio hiyo okay ndio siku okay. sasa so he didn't even get to do this job he had not done any job for me okay aya can Tobi. i continue the story yes because, because uh if i miss anything here uh naona aita kwa venye inafa mm-hmm. so ndio mimi huyu jeff alikuwa na update mamake kuhusu kila mahali penye tunaenda so i even felt i felt so good kuona sijai patana na mtu mwingine mwenye anakaa mimi mimi na mamangu tuko hivi sababu mimi nimezaliwa peke yangu. Mamangu hata nikiamka kila wakati. Haya mimi hata nikiwa show nikianza show na anajua vizuri naanzanga show saa sita usiku uh, utashtukia mamangu ananipigia hata nikiwa stage. This is my peer. Utashtukia anakuja ananionyesha mama anapiga, anaenda anachukua na mwambia bado hajamaliza show. I am very close na mamangu. Sasa venye niliona kijana mwenye pia ako ako close na mamake hivyo uh, ili nifanya nione Ah uh, nili nilipata passion na yeye unapata passion na mtu juu hata yako close na mamake ana update kila move sasa tumepita Ruisambu Faith Mutano alikuwa amesema atakuwa Ruisambu by saa moja hako amefika sasa giza isha anza kuingia unanisikia ah uh, hako amefika tukamwambia uh, pole tukamwambia wewe uta uta utatupata kwa shop hapo penye tunaenda naenda kuonyesha Jeff shop sasa tutupata hapo manake hatutashinda hapa tumekungoja ndio sisi hawa tukachukua njia tukienda wapi tukienda Ruiru sasa tumetoka Ruisambu Faith anaishi Ruisambu hapo karibu na Park University ah tukaenda Ruiru sasa tukienda Ruiru ah kuna huyu madam wa US alikuwa anakuja Kenya anaitwa Sue Kashambi she is popular for her job mm-hmm. she was coming to Kenya na alikuwa ameniambia fatso Eh, so ni organize shows kama tatu hivyo tuone kama tutatengeneza pesa so i was supposed to meet with a guy the owner of whiskey one of the 
owners of Whiskey River, his name is Douglas Ndego. I was supposed to meet with him, yeah? Ndiyo GN event organizer. Ndiyo tupange shazanani za suga shambi. So when I was making the call to Douglas Ndego, Jeff Hart, of course, eh, Dagia Kanyambia, uh, niko hapa liquor store, hapa kwa jemu, hapo ni rejoice, karibu na opposite theater mall. Niko hapo hivo, eh, utanipata hapa, mia ata ni henesi na kunyo. Ye ni kwa mwambia henesi na mindo ni mekavia kunyo pombe, so wache nitakuja tupige sherehe. Unanisikia? So, Jeff had me talk to Douglas kwa simu. So, the next thing, all along Jeff was so happy ya nanembi, aki mimi hata nezataka kushindanga na wewe, nezataka kukanga na wewe, hi maisha yako, yani, and I really understood him. Because I was once there, when I had known him mata mimi nilikuwa, na hang on, nilikuwa na penda celebrities sana. So, this guy, na ye naona kuna ile passion, na mimi na na, na enjoy yata kampani yangu. So, hakuna venye ninge mkataza, haka ni beg, please, acha tuende na wewe, iyo sherehe nyo. Naenda after tumetoka show, tumetoka kuona show. Haka ni beg, by the way, to Peter pale hivo, wakairo, wakairo ni ile KU, the branch. Achana na main campus, ile kiyo ingine ni kopale kabla kimbo. Kani mbe tupiti hapo, ata nichukue, nichukue demi yangu fulani. Kuna nisikia? Nika mbe it's okay, sawa. Tukaenda, tukaingilia kimbo, tukasimama hapo wakairu, akachukua msichana fulani, wakaka na enyuma. Unaona mi nikona kenodhia wapi? Nikona kenodhia hapa. Then, tukakuja, tukaingilia ridu, tukaenda green spot, Uh, tukapata yule kiateka huyo nyumba ni kutoka na toka ni kambia huyu stoke e, ni mekuja na interior design wa hii shop na shop zingine zangu so si umfungulie tu ndo waone ndo ajwe ni nini na nini na hitajika kesho tushinde tukinunua materials ndiyo tuanze kujenga wanisikia haya tukaona na tuka view hiyo mahali kisha tukatoka sasa tukitoka tunarudi ili tuende eh, rejoice ni patane na Douglas ndo tuonge ile biashara yenye tunaongea nikikunywanga ile henesi yenye ameniambia anakunywa. Wanisikia masani. So what I did is uh, nikaenda uh, Risambo is where we picked Faith Mutano. Asha toka town kufanya delivery zake and everything. So after walifunga shop na Jeff, yeye yeah, yeah, ananunuanga viatu kama mkonzi, anafanya deliveries kila mahali. Unanisikia? Haya, tukamchukua. Sasa kaingia hapo nyuma so ikakuwa ni Jeff yule demi yake na faith wako wapi wako hapo nyuma tukaenda likasto rejoins kufika likasto hapo ndo peni nili onja pombe the first time eh, kwa kwa hiyo siku ilikuwa around ilikuwa around uh, call it 8:30 or 9 kitu kama hiyo kama naweza kumbuka vizuri haya Tukaona hapa hivi after tumeka sasa after tumefika mimi nimeenda kaa nimekaa penye dagi yako. Jeff in fact meza ilivutwa ingine juu tumeingia tukiwa group kubwa ya watu tano so imebidi meza ivutwe ndio tuweze kutoshare. Group ya watu tano na mimi kenodi hapa mbele, feed mtano nyuma, Jeff na msichana. Wanisikia? So the sitting arrangement was like mimi nimekaa hapa, feed alikaa hapa na, na Douglas Douglas ako hapo mwenye nimeenda kuona uh, kuna jamaa anaitwa James Wong huyo ni mwenye hiyo likasto na sasa hao wengine ime zilivuta Jeff alikaa hata hapa pale alikaa pale wakakaa na Kenodia the girlfriend hapa na jamaa kwa kando yangu anaitwa Karis hapa so ikafika time tukaambiana eh, tunafaa twende tuka support DJ Mo DJ Mo huyu wa reggae twende tuka support kwiba manake Eh, Hennessy hapa hapa zimeisha. Unasikia? Mm -hmm. Hennessy zimeisha hapa hivi uh, tukaambia na twende kuiva. So tukienda kuiva this is a bit yenye nataka uisikie vizuri sana. Tukienda kuiva uh, tukaingia kwa gari. Yango. I was the one who was driving. You know Mr. Mwenye tulichukua kwa Cairo kwa university Mwenye Jeff alikuwa anasema ni msichana wake. Alibebwa na mwanaume mwingine tofauti. Kenya nilikuwa nimekaa. Sasa ngapi sasa hiyo? Sasa hiyo ni kitu saa saa tano inaelekea. Uh -huh. Saa saa nne na madakika huko uh -huh. futi okay. saa tano inaelekea. Uh -huh. Kim, there, there was a guy not Kim, Karis is the guy who sits right next to me. Then just just girlfriend. 
uh, then Jeff then Chinothia there so huyu jamaa alikuwa kando yangu uh, sijui ama ni mchezo ama ilikuwa ushazungumza unaona mimi sikuwa napata attention juu attention yangu iko kwa Douglas yeye ndio mwenye nimekuja kuona na kwanza tuongee kile tunaongea sasa what happened is Harisa aliambia alisema uh-huh. eh, we acha kushinda ukiingia hizi gari nini uh-huh. acha kushinda ukiingia hizi gari kidogo kidogo we ingia we ingia tukubebe unanisikia uh-huh. so ingia ni kubebe so demwa Jeff alibebwa na gari ya Harisa tukienda kuiva na nipata uh-huh. so mimi tumeenda kwa gari yangu mimi tena odia mbele Faith Mutana nyuma na Jeff uh-huh. but now the girlfriend amebebwa na gari nyingine hapa Prado unanipata mhm uh-huh tukafika kuiva sasa tunaelekea kuiva sasa tushambia na tunaenda shereni kambi ya fee huyo fee jeli kwa nasema kuna kazi nzuri yako kwa nyumba aina haja hata wakae kwa nyumba na tumeenda sherehe nyingine si watoke tu wakuje watu join we just have fun together akawapigia simu so tulipofika kuiva fee data hapo ingia na sisi alibaki kwa gari gari yangu ndio kazi zake wenye wanakuja wamlete nguo wasichana basa da, basa trend ya wasichana wako na outfits zenye wanaweza vaa wakienda sherehe na kuna zenye wanaweza vaa wakishinda wakifanya kazi zao wanipata so what happened tukaingia tumeingia mimi Kenodia na Jeff so tumeacha faith ndongo je kazi yake wawili alafu Karis na ye gari zilifuatana zote Karis na yeye amekuja na nani na yule girlfriend ya nani ya Jeff tukaingia na tukakaa kukaa chini hata kumaliza dakika kama kama tatu Karis washafika na nani na umsichana umsichana wa Jeff so wakakaa msichana hapo kana Karis alikaa alirudi kukaa na Jeff hapo hivyo haya then fifth na wakaingia so Jeff hawakuwa na hawakuwa na ongeleshana na huyu msichana hawakuwa in good terms ya yeah? na ikafika time Jeff akani text tuko kwa meza akani text akaniandikia hey bro uh, unaweza ni save na 200 ama 500 sina pesa ina anisikia uh-huh. nika na akanitumia till number hapo chini mara mingi hizi ni vitu pia sisi tumepitia wakati mwingi eh, mwingine unapata uh, tulikuwa tunatumia till numbers juu hizo atakuwa nafuliza inaweza fanya nini e, utatoa pesa yako kama unataka kutoa so akaniambia nimweke kwa till number so alinyomba 200 ama 500 nilimtumia kwa till number that was hiyo niliangalia kwa simu it was 1134 akiniambia hivyo nikamtumia 500 shillings and it's only that aliniambia niweke kwa till number uh, i'm sorry to say this uh, sina marafiki wenye wanaweza niomba pesa hiyo kiwango 200 shillings 500 shillings because i am not even used to going out with the age ya kina Jeff mimi naendanga na watu napata kwa hiyo meza there are 40s and 50s kwa hiyo meza mimi tu ndo nimesota kabisa nimekamata i am nimetan 27 april 25 uh-huh. so napenda kuji challenge na vitu mingi So hiyo deni hata nilimhurumia sana. Hata kan kumtumia 200 nilimtumia ikiwa 500. So after nimemtumia haikumaliza dakika kama sijui ngapi msichana yule mwenye alikuwa amebebwa na karisi na wamekana yeye but aongee. Mm. Akakuja tena ni haga na niambia Fatsu mimi naenda home. I'm scared. So namuliza mbona unaenda home akina ndo sherehe inaanza you know. Sa hiyo sasa Hennessy shakuja wi yani tunaendelea na sherehe sasa mimi hapa nimekaa hapa nimekaa na mwenye kuiba hapa na wazai wengine hapo unanipata haya na Douglas bado wako hapa na mimi so tu, tulitoka sisi wote tuliambia na tutoke sisi wote pale ni kasto so umsichana um, ameniambia nataka kwenda home na nikunihaga mimi hapa kama mimi hata sijui jina yake in fact because if I, if, even if if i knew her name hata ninge provide hiyo jina hata kwa this i don't know her name because i was not interested ni huyu ni msichana wa rafiki yangu so let them have their fun i have my own fun so what happened nikamwambia it's okay if you have to go na una insist unasema kabi kwa hapa nje sawa basi enda so i thought ile pesa ni sasa sando nikafikiria hiyo pesa maybe ni ya kulipia msichana nini kaba kienda nyumbani so the night continued 
the party continued mimi naendele mimi hata akili yangu haiko huko siangali hata sina shughuli na to be very honest siko na shughuli na hawa mimi niko na shughuli na hawa sasa juu hawa ndo unipatia kazi mm-hmm. hawa kina kimani kuiva in the rest now nikaona ile nisive nina teremka he inakaa tutalewa sana juu naona tulikuwa tumekunywa kunywa nyingine na pale so what i did is I called my driver. I told him, uh, kuja kuiva. Ili unipeleke nyumbani mataimu yake juu naona penye tunakunywa hapo hivi sipendi ku drive nikiwa mlevi mara nyingi. But see at ni shy drive nikiwa mlevi kitu yote inani happen here but ni ile tu you just cautious. So my driver came but sasa alikuja na kazini yangu. Na ali take time sana before afike. Alikuja kitu around <clears throat> two ish huko na akakuja na kazini yangu but he knew very well sitamuuliza juu kukuja na kazini yangu ju it's normal for them to stay in my house all the time we always have so nation and deliver up no 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 okay most of the times utashtukia wako kwangu one i want to explain the reason as to why iko hivyo my driver tulikuwa tunasoma na yeye high school ni wa kwetu place in it engineer kinango mm-hmm. so one thing huyu ni mtu mwenye alinikujia maisha kiume mchapa sana so mtu ikifika extent anakuambia mimi hata chakula sina masawe na ni mtu tulisoma na yeye mimi niko ina position ya kumsaidia so nikimpatia kazi akaniambia mimi niko naendesha uba but mambo ili ilienda vipani kaje okay i can just make him a driver hata niko nimekaa na like three months toka nimpatie kazi Hai. So, huyo mtu ni mtu niko very sure hata kwake bado haja settle sana. Kuna wakati after nimemlipa sitaki kujua ataenda kugula nini juu nishamlipa. Lakini sasa kuna wakati mwingine unashtukia bado hata after umemlipa, eh hey bro, uko wapi uko kwa nyumba nikuje? Like a brother, it's okay, just come. Then talk of my cousin. Cousin yangu hata siko nimemaliza naye mwezi mmoja. Nilienda nyumbani kulikuwa na cousins day eh kwetu engineer. Uh-huh. Sasa huyu kijana akakuja na gita. Akakuja akaniambia alituma mamangu kwanza. Akaambia mamangu <coughs> si wote tu wetu na fatso uh-huh. alipe kazi mimi naweza kuwa katendriza wake. Kuna katendriza anaimba mbele kabla mimi sasa ninge niimbe. So yeye pia ni mimi ndo mwenye nimemtoa kwa ni nyahururu. Mimi ndo nimemtoa huko kwao mashambani nikamleta Nairobi akuje afanye hiyo kazi anataka ya cut and raising. So our watu have embraced them like my brothers. So most of the time ju mimi unapata mimi niko peke yangu kwa nyumba. Most of the times niko na wao. So wakati mwingine niko na huko kazini yangu sana sana juu na ananifunza chords fulani za gita na mimi namfunza kucheza accordion. Yeah. Sasa kukuja kwangu haikuwa ni shida so venye driver wangu alikuja na kazini yangu alijua sitamuuliza na ni kweli sikumuuliza but sasa nilimwambia ujue sijui mtaenda aje nyumbani juu already sisi kwa meza tuko mimi Jeff Faith Mutalu na kazini wake wangapi wawili so already gari imejaa so nikamwambia unge kwa peke yako hata tungeshikana basi hii mko wawili so hiyo hata nikaachia hapo anzikia masawe sasa time ikafika ni time ya kwenda nyumbani. Mimi usiku nililala nikicheza pool sana, nacheza pool na rudi kwa meza. Wao hadi sasa wao walikula na wakakunya walikula kuku na wakakunywa. So, I cleared the bill at around call it 3 something, yeah. And then uh feed like I told you. Feed and I share example. Anaishi mahali panaitwa Park University. Park University na kwangu is like 2 minutes or 3 minutes drive. So, I told them I'll drive you home. Of course, inaeleweka ju tunaenda njia moja ukiingilia safari park so it is easy for me to drop them and then yeah. get back kwa nyumba mm-hmm. now about jeff jeff we were supposed to wake up the following day like i told you from the word go we were supposed to wake up twende tukanunue vitu so what we had agreed with him in between those party modes aliamka akakuja penye niko he himself akakuja penye niko he told me that kwa masikio yangu so bro i think mimi hata naweza kosa kushuka mtaa na kanta shuka nitashuka late ah uh, 
juu tuko na kazi yenye tunaraukia so me i insisted on mimi naona mimi nishaita driver nimeita driver juu ni juu safety so for me ni, ni, mimi hata sikumwambia but for me i knew i'll go with him kwa nyumba ye alale ndo turauke jumi sisi taka you see ukienda na mtu kwako masawe inamaanisha you mm-hmm. caring mm-hmm. ni mgeni wako i'm i'm caring because the reason i called the driver wangu ni bebe ni sababu mimi mwenyewe na hofu ya kufanya nini na hofu ya kupata kiti yote kwa barabara yeye na yeye nitamwachiliaje na anaenda kimbo like i told you mm. anaenda kimbo wacha nikatize kidogo kuna yes. ujumbe hapo naingia kutoka kwa Aida Mwangi anasema fatso story za jaba your cousin was like the same day kissing some boys oh god that's not my cousin si wa mtoi na wamlete hapa that's not my cousin uh-huh. yes it's not my cousin okay uh, the boy has practiced the story well zile lika stories imejaa akiambu hakuna moja kuna hennessy hakuna moja kuna hennessy okay ni ni ni, ni wasikilizaji yes. okay so first forward kwa sababu ya muda tumefika nyumbani sawa yes uh, ina maana kwamba uh, jeff alilala kwako kwa nyumba sasa ndo hapa tunaelekea kwenye uh-huh. ni cruise mm. tukaenda kwa nyumba but sasa tukienda elewa nilikuwa niende ni drop fade mutano na ni drop hawa wasichana wengine ndo sasa tuendelee kwa nyumba hivi kazi yangu na driver wangu watufuate na uba juu wao pia walikuwa nasema wakwanja wenye walikula ni hawa kazi yangu na driver wakikuja walikaa meza kando so hawakukula wakati waliniambia nataka kula kwiva nikawaambia hamta kula tuendeni hata mimi sikukula nitakula kwa nyumba na nipata sasa tukienda nikamwambia feed mutano like i told you feed was doing deliveries for me za viatu nikamwambia juu nimehamia mahali pengine penye hata hujui na wewe unashinda kunitafuta kwa mikutano zangu kama niko mkutano mahali faida na kuja kuniletea viatu na vitu so nikamwambia twende nikuonyeshe mahali kwa gate penye utakuwa unaachia soja sana na usiku si ni kitu saa hata si saa nane hiyo ni past mm. ni saa tisa na madakika 3 am why 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 kwenda kumuonyesha yeah because that's the only chance you already drunk because that's the only chance mm-hmm. yenye nimepata ya kuweka na feed mimi sije kunywa meza moja na feed mm-hmm. sije atujai patana kwa avenue za nje ya biashara akiniletea delivery na mara mingi kuna wakati hata nakaanga na delivery zangu eh, over over four, four days inamaliza hata one week na ni kitu maybe nilikuwa nahitaji jumi nimeenda meetings nimeenda hivi mara na nipige niko Kiamburu niko Mombasa road so mm-hmm. i knew that was the right time yangu kufanya hivyo Okay. So we went to the gate na nikamuonyesha. Baada ya kumuonyesha, kuna kazi yake ilikuwa hapo akasema anataka kwenda washroom. Na nipata. Na mimi nikamwambia ni sawa hata tunaweza ingia tukipiga double then to talk and ni wa drop. Wanisikia? Why did you call your driver? I called him to ask for him to drive me home. So why are you driving yourself? Because he came with my cousin and we couldn't have fit in the car as seven people okay. so i told them to come to take an uber mm-hmm. and follow us okay that's the reason mm-hmm. so we proceeded to the house okay so uh, kazi na menda kwa bathroom baada ya bathroom kapiga shot nani amenda kwa bathroom eh, ya kazi mutano, ya, ya kazi, mutano. ni kazi ni ya mutano was pressed yes Akasi, so si tumepanda tumeingia kwa nyumba mm-hmm. sasa so, so after tumeingia kwa nyumba ndio mimi huyu nikauliza mnataka nini kazi na menda kwa ocean there is a video that was circulating yenye Jeff ali record hiyo video ta ki record Jeff hakuna kitu alikuwa anafanya bila kuniambia aliniambia acha ni record niambie mama tumefika tuko kwako he recorded that na mimi nilikuwa kwa simu na mtu mwingine nikimuelezea njia ya place alikuwa anaenda na nikimwambia venye ata access sasa naona ndo unaonaanga kwa hiyo video unaona wasichana wangapi wawili na kuna msichana mmoja walikuwa watatu so kuna msichana mmoja mwenye hayuko sasa tumeingia wao wakasema wanataka maji nikawapa maji huyu kazi mmoja wa wa fade akasema aka, aliona shisha bom kwa nyumba akasema hii uko na bom mimi napenda kuwasha shisha sana akaenda akaanza kuwasha nini shisha mimi na mimi nikachukua gitaa tukaanza kucheza muziki tunaimba sasa hiyo ni unaona nikaa sherehe inaendelea masawe mm-hmm. dakika kidogo kazi yangu na driver wangu akakuwa shafika na wakaingia kwa nyumba baada ya kufika kazi yangu cheza gitaa like i told you kuna wakati he is actually perfect in gitaa than i am So nikampatia gitaa wecheza. Sasa hawa baada ya kuwapa maji Jeff yeye alisema anataka anataka hapendi whisky that is the word yenye alitumia. I didn't expect him to maybe anaweza differentiate cognac na whisky. Akasema mimi sipendi whisky na naona uko na jina hapo nipatie gin. Kulikuwa na tangari ya fungulio na kuna tonic. Ni mgeni wangu ya ameitisha mimi ukija kwangu na kuuliza unataka nini. Sikulazimishi. Wasichana walisema wanataka maji. Nikawapa kila mtu glasi ya maji 
kijana akasema nataka jean nikampatia jean tankaria yenye ijafunguliwa na nikampatia toni then nikamwambia ah juni kwangu wewe tutatos na wewe mimi sitakunywa maji na wengi akaeka nikakunywa na yeye akakunywa so mimi juu ya venye hiyo ku mix ah uh, yeye yeah, dinga hakuwa nakunywa sana because mimi after after nimepiga hiyo yangu mi nilizima kwa nililala kwa kiti after nimelala kwa kiti ile nasinzia nimeacha hawa sasa wapi sasa hizi rafli rafli 4 ni kileke za kuna moja asubuhi yes okay sasa mimi nimesinzia wapi hapo ile tu na unajiekelea tu kwa kiti kando yangu ni faith kuna msichana mwingine kando yangu ni faith oh nadhani niko nyumbani pole <laughs> so kando yangu ni faith uh, kazi yake kazi yake mwingine eh, driver wangu Chris ako amekajia kiti hapo juu na Jeff ako hapa kando so Jeff hata anajifunza mogidi hapo ana he's really enjoying mimi mimi nimelala nilishtukia na tapi wa tatu foto foto nani mwenye nani tap it's faith mutanu mm. faith mutanu was supposed to do deliveries in the morning she kept on telling me that even time to lipoko club actually the reason is that we tokanga mapema sana ni juu ya hivyo ni juu anafaa kwenda kufanya deliveries so that's the reason is that we couldn't have tukitoka club hatukwambiana twende tuendeleze sherehe ni twende ni waike juu anafaa ndio akafanya deliveries kesho so anani tap na amka napata a, a green up kwa simu green up ina maanisha bold asha itisha bold anataka kwenda nyumbani nikamwambia faith sasa unaona ndo ameniamsha eh faith eh siezi ruhusu siezi kubali ujipeleke na ni mimi mwenye niliwaleta na huku eh, awainishe deal ilikuwa mimi niwapeleke wapi kwa nyumba then tena timuinkai cost nyingine ya uba hapana let me take you so i walked out with them the three ladies bado mmemwacha Jeff kwa nyumba Nime, sasa hapo ndo nimemwacha kwa anacheza mugidi anajibamba he is happy he is having fun my driver is smoking shisha my cousin is playing guitar for jeff jeff is trying to sing mugidi because ni wale vijana ni wa kikuyu but ni ni mtu uptown so hajui hata kikuyu vizuri so anajaribu kuimba hata mugidi anajaribu hata kukumbuka kaka moja word moja ya mugidi you get me so he is really happy he is really having fun ndio mimi huyu nikapeleka wasichana baada ya kupeleka wasichana nikajiambia masawe kama nilivyokuambia tukio kwa klabu mimi sikukula wengine wakikula nikasema acha niende pale Lumumba drive juni Lumumba after nimeingia park university kuweka wasichana niliweka in like 5 minutes at most so nilitoka kwa nyumba kitu 447 haya nikatoka nikaenda nikawaeka by 452 or four something nilikuwa nilikuwa nishafika kwa hiyo nyumba yao kwa gate nikawa drop na mimi nika, nikaendelea nikaenda pale pale ito Lumumba drive ninunue sausages na mandazi jumi ni konjaa ndio niende ni kule kwa nyumba wanisikia uh-huh. masaa niende ni kule na tukule na wale wengine wenye wako kwa nyumba wenye walisema pia wa konjaa uh-huh. so penye nilipark hivi Lumumba drive where i parked i parked it around call it 5 maybe 5 something uh-huh. the time that i can't know Uh, I think I was quite high that day because I slept immediately where I parked I slept ni vizima na nililala niliamshwa na jua masawe jua inachoma gari kwa kio hiyo ndio yenye niliamsha naamka I know I know it's quite funny nine in the morning I know it's quite funny hiyo kitu nikikwambia hivyo but that's my trend mimi kuna watu wengine wakilewa mimi uimba nasema kuna wengine wakilewa wanatoa nguo kuna wengine wakilewa wanalala mimi i am a sleepy head my friends know that wengine hawezi jua but marafiki wangu wote wanajua so i slept nilijisikia saa tatu. kuamka after nimejisikia na nijua ilikuwa inanichoma ndio mimi huyu ina face bado kwa ndani gari nishawa drop masaa okay, okay. niliwa drop mapema kule 5 uh-huh. nilishawaeka uh-huh. so i slept kwa gari na nilikuwa nakuja kununua mandazi na sausages nipeleke kwa nyumba kwa hoteli kwa tu hapo ni, si mara yangu kwanza nimenunua hapo so nimezima before hata nitoke nimeamshwa na juu kichwa magari yangu ndo mimi huyu sasa napata gari ya tababi on ina guruma matai on nikasema he hii ni ile unasikia ndo walk of shame sisi toka kwanza kununua mandazi saa hizi na najulikana gear hata si kugurumisha ilikuwa ina guruma nikaenda kwa nyumba but nikienda nilichukua simu yangu ilikuwa imeanguka hapa 
kumanisha nilikuwa nimesinzia maybe acha nilikuwa nimeshika kwa mkono ilikuwa imeanguka kwa flow the only thing i checked ilikuwa missed calls ilikuwa na missed calls mingi ikiwemo za wale wenye walikuwa kwa nyumba kazi yangu na driver yangu haya nikiingia kwa Redu Department sasa hapa narudi kitu ni 9:05 nikifika hapo Redu ndo mimi huyu naona askari huko maskari wengi wako nje kwa mlango okay akili yangu inaniuliza mm, askari wanafanya nini huko so mi naenda hata na napiga tani hivi ati niingie sasa kwa, kwa gate main gate na teremsha kio kuna askari walikuwa hapo na nawajukia na uliza haya afande nimesema mtashikie point leo unasikia ile on a personal level mimi okay unapatanga watu maybe kuko na jina mwingine naye kwa kwa sheria uh, kuna venye mnaweza you can just say a word to each other takaa sikusalimiana so niliwajukia hivyo wakacheka mimi naona siji za niko naendelea then soja hapo nifungulia gate ya kuingia elewa size ni kitu 905 yeah? akatoka nje kuja kuniongelesha ananiambia hey bosi lazima uandike nikamuuliza niandike nini yani unataka kwa simu nijui akaniambia pana kuna mtu alijirusha kutoka 12th floor sasa tunaandika mtu yote mwenye anaingia na mwenye anatoka he kusikia hivyo nikamwambia sawa ninaandika saa hizi nilete karatasi niandi akafungua gate nikaingia hapo akafunga akaniletea book i wrote my name and the time yenye nimeingia kwa apartment nikasema juu mimi na parking first floor sana acha nisipark first floor nione ni nani mwenye huyo amejengusha kutoka 12th floor redwood mimi sijakaa miezi hiyo apartment sijakaa miezi imepita miezi tatu hiyo wakati sasa we are talking of feb kufikia feb siko nimekaa miezi tatu so i i don't even know anyone in that whole apartment an apartment yenye kuna watu over mia kitu because ni apartment kuna privacy sana juu hata floor yangu mimi ni 10th floor sije yona hata ni ba yangu sije toka nje napatana na neighbor wangu na kuna nyumba nane hiyo floor so unapata uh, ni mambo kuna mtu amejiangusha kutoka 12th floor na ishi 10th floor ama wika from 12th floor how is that that makes sense ati unasema kuna mtu alijirusha kutoka 12th floor so you know you know na, na soja watch soja yes na wewe unaishi 10th floor yes mbona sielewi hapo sasa unaona yeye ameniambia Okay. Yeye ameniambia kama venye nimemuuliza. Ni mbona unakataa niingie? Si yeye ndo yeye hata ndo mimi sijamuuliza ni flow gani yeye ndo amerusha mdomo kuniambia kuna mtu amejirusha kutoka 12th floor. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikaingia. So unaona already kuambiwa tao ukiingia kwa nyumba kulikuwa na kina nani? Siko nimeingia kwanza sasa hivi. Mm-hmm. Naelekea kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda nikapark pale hivyo chini. After nimepark mwili mwili ilikuwa mahali hapa hivi. Unaona? mahali kama pale na mimi nimepark hapa so nashuka ndo niende gate iko pale so kuna pillar there, there are pillars za buildings zenye watu kupark mm. so unaona tu kichwa samo ya hapa hivi but huku kando kuna nyama nyama zimetapaka mm-hmm. unanipata so i can assure you the pillar imelizuia kuona hata hata the body itself na una tu nywele kidogo hapa tu yenye kichwa imetokea samo ya hapo so mimi natembea na una nyama nyama zimetapaka akina shuyu hata sikuweza kuangalia hiyo mwili mimi naogopa sana in fact mwili yenye tulishaingia kuona hata kwa moja ni nyanyangu toka nizaliwe mm-hmm. sasa ndio mimi huyu naangalia sikuiangalia hivi and even the cctv footage can show i held my head like this hadi naangalia unaona ile unachungulia hutaki kuona yes you are anxious kuona but hutaki kuona na wangu ni ninataka uelewe ni nishaambiwa pale mtu alijitupa kutoka 12th floor at least hata ninge jua ni 10th floor ningekuwa ninajua huu ni mtu wa floor yetu acha nione ni nani inaweza kuwa ni nani maybe tushaipatana kwa lift sasa mimi sijui mtu yote but nishaambiwa meto sasa the only thing i saw kwa hiyo mwili i can assure you niliona kichu imetokana imetokana hii part then nikaona mtu hana hana suruali So I I just held my head nikiendaga juu si kitu naweza I couldn't have stared at it mimi sijaiweza kuangalia hata nipate gari zimepata accident kwa barabara sijaiweza kusimama ati niangalie ati watu wenye umeumia siezi provided na una damu or anything okay. I fear yeah. I went mm-hmm. to the house mm-hmm. but nikipita hapo askari nao wamekalia Land Rover yao ready to correct nini hii mwili sasa waende nayo So mimi nikaenda kwa nyumba. But nikipita hapo nikajishika kichwa, yani before niende kwa kwa kageti, nikasema oh god. What the hell? 
why should a person do this to themselves? Unaona venye yani ah askari wako na reaction yangu wakabaki wakicheka. So nikaenda kwa nyumba. Kwenda kwa nyumba nikafungua mlango. Nikaingia kufungua tu hivi kazini yangu na driver yangu wali waligutuka kwa kiti wote wawili hivi wanaangalia kwa mlango wamelala kwa kiti driver amelala hapa kazi yangu the, the city is a nail set so the cousin is here the driver is here so wanagutuka wanaangalia kwa mlango nikafunga mlango nikaanzia kuwapelea story wapi hapo wewe uko chini hebu endeni muone kuna mtu mwenye amejiangusha lakini mimi nashuku ameangushwa these are the exact what i told them nashuku ametupwa na au manager wanaishingi huku juu sababu hana trouser maybe amepata kwa demi ya wenyewe mm-hmm. amepata na demi ya wenyewe sasa akatupwa unanipata juu nimeambiwa umetupwa toka tu floor hao nao wanaona kama ni mjinga nawaambia i am very serious naizaje wachezea na kifo yani hawaniamini nikiwaambia hivyo so nikaona hapo hivyo kuna jetheri yenye wame wamekaanga elewa pia walisema uko nje so kuna jetheri nilikuwa nimeleta na mamangu kuna jetheri anyway uh-huh sasa hizi unajua tunaongelea saa tatu. Mm. Wao wao wa hawakuwa na kunywa. Yeah, wao hawakuwa na kunywa. Okay. Wao wakiingia mm-hmm. kwa club walichukua Del Monte. So this is my driver. So she expect a kunywa. Na mimi nimekunywa. So wow, there was a reason for them to do the gather. Jo wao hawajakunywa. So naona walitengeneza na wakakula wamebakisha. It's okay, so you don't need to So mm-hmm. I ain't defending them. Mm-hmm. I just told them eh ni pe wakani ni wamie gedheri so akienda kuniwamia driver wangu driver wangu ni chef alikuwa na amesoma hizo vitu basi akakosa kazi so yeye ndo at this pika. point umeingia kazini yako driver wako yes. ni mtu wangu sasa hapa ndo penye nilimuulizia after ni, unaona kwanza mimi nimepeana story mm. nimeingia na mshangao ya kenye nimepata hiyo ndo mm. story yenye napeana so after nimefik after sasa nimewaambia hivyo na nimeona oh hawaamini nikamwambia ni yeye gedheri ni kule je ni konja then niende nilale then ni kam, ni kam, i just asked a general question eh na kijana kwa wapi sasa kijana ni je mm. nilipata wakasema ai alilewa sana akaenda kulala oh that's okay mhm amelala wapi of course amelala guest room mm-hmm. so mimi sikushindania na kitu kingine so nikikula niki ile gedheri na kula nikiogopa nikiwaambia msinikumbushe hiki kitu yenye nimewaambia nimepata chini ili niweze kumaliza in fact sikuweza kukula nikaipeleka kwa sink then nikaenda kulala nikienda kulala nikaacha nimeambia hawa kazi yangu na driver yangu na mniamshe saa sita nafaa kwenda studio I was supposed to go for a studio at a studio called Studio 56 mm-hmm. at 12 noon. Mm-hmm. So, nikaenda sasa naenda kulala kitu saa saa 4. Saa 4 ya ya mchana sasa. In fact, I even called I called my girlfriend kumwambia Kenya nimepata saa nikiwa kwa bed before nilale. I called her and told her Kenya nimepata huko chini. So, I slept. Mimi nikalala kulala masawe nimelala nimejisikia 14 14 elewa nimeangalia saa manake nilikuwa nafaa kwenda studio saa sita so the first thing ile niliangalia ni ukianguka unamkanga hey huenda nimechelewa nikaangalia naona ni saa 8 na dakika 14 kwa hivyo nimelala over 4 hours so nikavaa nika nikaona ah stamika kwenda studio acha tu ni jibu jibu hizi calls messages kwa kitanda tu karibu ifike 3 hapo nikashawa after kushawa nikavaa mavazi yangu iko kwa room yangu hiyo bedroom yangu master bedroom so viatu maishura iko kwa bedroom ya wageni walipata so after nimevaa nikaingia kwa hii room nyingine ili nichukue kiatu nikachukua viatu zenye nafaa nivae on other days i put the shoes down i sit on the guest room's bed and put them on juzi na kuanga safi natoka nikitoka Mm-hmm. Sasa naenda kuvalia kwa mlango. Sasa this day mm-hmm. it was a special day because after picking the shoes I just saw the the bed is not made. Mm-hmm. So I knew the the guy is up. So let me just go to the sitting room and welcome him. And know about my unaona the hospitality ya mgeni wako mwenye ajali lala kwako tena. Unanipata? Nimuulize, "Eh hey, umelalaje huko kwetu?" Mhm. Unanipata na ni mwana. Sitting room. Nikaenda sitting room nikapata driver wangu na kazi yangu nikawapata hapo siti ndio nikauliza kwani mliacha kijana aende na kuna kazi tunaenda kufanya wanisikia the same same words jamaa kaniambia my driver is the one who said mi fatu na shuku ukijana alienda asubuhi mapema sana na kazi yangu akarusha mdomo akasema no haizi kwa alienda asubuhi mapema sana na mimi nimecheza gitaa hadi 8 nikingoja fatu 
Unasikia? Tupati habari. Tutakaporudi hewani tutakuwa tunamalizia tujue. Perfect. Kule ndani ilikuwa je? Na pengine pia labda tu tupate fursa kuweza kuzungumza na mama kije. Sina shida. Nishawahi kuzungumzia? Mamangu alipigia Samido. Mm-hmm. Aka akamuomba waturuhusu twende mazishi. Mm-hmm. Waturuhusu twende tujuane na familia. Mm-hmm. Manake hiyo mambo tiko imetokea online wakati. So mama kapigia Samido akamwambia please juu leo kifo inaonekana huku na kesho ni kwetu na hao watu walikuwa marafiki. Kwa nini muombe ruhusa kwenda mazishi? Sababu mm. na tayari bado ilikuwa kwa media unaelewa mm. toka kwa police station mm-hmm. they were blocking me from seeing the family. Okay. Are you getting me? Wewe mwenyewe baada ya haya yote ambayo yanaendelea ushawichukua simu yako ukainua ukampigia mama. Mama ke Jeff. Hata sina namba ya mama Jeff. But what I can say is yeah. Lakini kuipata ni rahisi. Maana yake ni kazi yake Samido. No. Yeah, so getting the number yes. will not be difficult. I know it, it's not going to be difficult. Sema tu mama pole. But uh, what I can say is eh mm. uh, Masawe. Ile ile uchungu yenye nimepitishwa hao watu to them wash a make decision they have already made their mind that I killed their son. So believe me or not Masawe, it's very hard for me. I wish Acha hiyo simu yenye unapiga. I wish ni zile shows zenye zinafanya ngo inakuwa ni surprise. Mama Jeff akae hapa. Niongee na yeye na tuangaliane kwa macho. Nimwambie Kenya na muambia. Nimwambie hadithi yangu. Na niangalia kiona na mdanganya aseme ni sawa. Basi mimi niliyo mtoto wake. Lakini sijaipata hiyo chance na sijaipata hizo guts za kupigia maana yake history ilienda sana. Ilienda na ikaenda zaidi. Ati nasemekana mimi nimeuwa mtoto wao. So imeacha kuonekana ile side nzuri ya. Nilitaka kusaidia mtoto wao kukumpatia kazi. Sasa inaonekana mimi ni kama mimi ni muwaji. So kusema ukweli. Sijai pata. Ata mimi mwenye sijapata wakati waku heal. Niweze kumpigia mama je. Ndiyo tuweze kumumza. Manake saizi pia ye bado najua. Yuko na machungu na makali yenye. Anajiambia na ama nafikiria. Mimi niliuwa mtoto wao. Ok. Yes. Mimi mfike sambili, mfike sambili. Sikuwa muda kuingia hivi ni tu hawazi. 